Would you pay £336,000 for coffee? No? You sure? Then watch this video. How many coffees do you drink a day? I'm talking Starbucks, Mug and Bean, Costa, Nero's, uh, Tim Hortons and all these other expensive coffee houses where you spend four quid on a drink. Let's say it's one a day, which is five a week or 20 pounds a week or 87 pounds a month. What if you invested this? What if from the age of 20 year old, you stopped buying expensive coffee and instead you invested this amount every month? What would that look like? Okay, so let's assume you invested it in the stock market and on average you got a 7% return. And every year as the price of coffee goes up, you increase your savings, i.e. inflation, to compensate for this by a couple of quid a month. In just five years, your four pound a day would turn into 6,628 pound. 10 years, 17,090 pound. That's a new car. 15 years, 33 grand. That's a house deposit. In 20 years, £57,384, which when you're 40 is a big dent off your mortgage. 30 years, over £146,000. Okay, so let's assume you have kids in your early 30s, as I have done. That's one of the degrees paid for. I'm talking fees, rent, living costs, books, the law, all out of just not drinking as much coffee. Or let's say you leave it and you don't touch it when you're 50, but you keep putting your coffee money away each and every month into the stock market. Let's see what that does for you when you're 60 years old. £336,320. Cold, hard cash. The average pension pot in the UK is less than £72,000. Just by not drinking coffee and the magic of compounding, you've more than quadrupled that. It certainly makes you think, doesn't it? I certainly know I'll be spending less in Starbucks moving forward.